Hey guys, the Fire Brothers here. It's just me. My brother couldn't be here today because he forgot it was his birthday. Now, um, about that, I did say I was gonna live stream for my brother's birthday, but that was like two days ago by the time of this recording. A bunch of stuff happened. We had visitors, so we couldn't really record, so. We're gonna do the birthday live stream sometime this week, like around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sorry for the inconvenience, but yeah. Today, we are talking about another missing character from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen because God knows that movie has thousands and thousands of Transformers that were just cut from that movie. Anyways, so a couple of announcements before I start. So, first off, I don't really have any new fan art of the day. I'm running out because people haven't been sending fan art, so... I think I need to set the reminder that I'm not using my Discord anymore. The Discord link from my old videos, like, don't use that because, you know, I'm not gonna be using that server anymore. It's under new management. Like, I have nothing to do with that server anymore, so... Whatever you send or post to that server, I'm not gonna feature it or not even gonna see it. So if you guys want to send me stuff, just, you know, message me directly to my Discord account. You can just private message me or whatever, it's fine. I don't really care if you guys ping me or anything, it's fine. But yeah, if you guys want me to know the stuff you're sending, you need to send it directly to me, not to my Discord server, because I'm not even gonna be there. Anyways, now that we got that out of the way, we can begin with the actual video. So Springer, he actually has a pretty good concept art. Apparently he was gonna be called Offspray, because... That's actually his vehicle mode, he's a helicopter Osprey. Now there were only like 3 of these types of vehicles in the whole movie verse. And Springer was apparently supposed to be the one that was gonna transform into an Autobot. But as you can probably guess from the previous video where I talked about the most powerful Autobot from Revenge of the Fallen, Springer here got cut for similar reasons, although it has never really been properly stated. Since he's a helicopter and apparently the Babers knows nothing about mass shifting, even though they have done it a couple times, he was cut for his size. Because he's a helicopter, he would have been way larger than Optimus Prime and most Autobots. Now granted, in comparison to Depth Charge, it wouldn't have been much of a dramatic difference in size. But still, if Springer wasn't the movie, he would definitely do that as one of the tallest Autobots around. Also, if you guys are still having doubts that this concept that was gonna make it into the movie, Hasbro released plenty of Springer toys for the first wave of the Revenge of the Fallen toy line. He got a Robot Heroes minifigure, and he got two Cyberverse minifigures. Oh, by the way, fun fact, if you were to put the Legion class Springer and the Legion class Devastator side by side, that will actually give you an accurate scale as to how big the two of them are in comparison to one another. No, really. This guy would have ended up being pretty big. Now, it's not all doom and gloom for Springer over here. Despite not appearing in the movie, Springer actually made plenty of appearances in the Italian movie comics. He appeared in like 4 comics. Granted, besides the first comic, the other comic appearances were rather short. But hey, at least he appeared in them! Unlike someone I know. Now, the thing that Springer is most, you know, well known for in G1 is the fact that he was a triple changer. Now, there is no indication whether or not this Springer was supposed to be a triple changer. The artwork doesn't show any car parts or any other vehicle parts that could point to, you know, the case of it being a triple changer, like Dropkick or Shatter did when we got the first look on their robot modes. So for Springer, I'm gonna say that they were probably planning to keep him as a sole helicopter, because there hasn't been any indication that they were planning to do a, uh, you know, triple changer Springer from G1. All of the toys here, and even the concept art itself, and the comics, portray Springer as being just a helicopter and not transforming into anything else, which is kind of a bummer because they kind of wasted a very, very good opportunity to have a triple changer early on, or, you know, to have a pretty cool badass helicopter autobot in the movies. And no, I'm not counting Drift because... I don't like the Age of Extinction designs, and I don't like the fact that, you know, uh, Drift transforms into a car and a helicopter at the same time, because his robot mode doesn't give that impression, but Springer at least is way more noticeable. But, 
much like I did in the previous episode, let's see how powerful Springer really is by looking at the Autobot specs. So, Springer has a strength of 8. How the frick does that work? So, let me get this straight. He's like really small in comparison to, like, say, Depth Charge, but his strength is 8 and Depth Charge is not a 10? Are you freaking kidding me? Intelligence 8. Well, he is a bit of a scientist, so yeah. Speed 7. His vehicle mode is somewhat fast. Endurance 8. I can also sort of believe that. Rank 5. Courage 7. Fire Blast 9. So his Fire Blast is stronger than Death Charge. Okay, Hasbro. Okay. And his skill is 4. Uh. I'm really curious, who comes up with the specs? Does the person who, you know, is in charge of making out the specs, does he even care about power scaling? Because this makes it sound like this guy is on par with Death Charge. You know, the Autobot that's like 10 times the size of Optimus Prime. Yeah, I don't believe that. Hasbro, you have some firing to do. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Now, shout out goes to our patrons, Morai's Prime, and to our newest patron, I Post Fate. They have both donated to my patron, and therefore they're entitled to a special shout out from me. Make sure to go check out their channels, links are in the description down below for both of them, they both need all the help they can get. And if you guys want to shout out yourself, all you have to do is donate to my patron. If you donate to my patron, you can get a shout out to your channel, you can request your own videos, you can collab with me in some of my videos and stuff like that. There's plenty more rewards and I'm thinking of adding a few more extras as time goes on. So yeah, remember every time you donate, Squeaker doesn't have to pay for the rent. So you're basically donating to charity or donating to a good cause. So yeah, there's that too. But keep in mind, we don't force anyone. This is entirely optional. Anyways guys, that's it for this video and I'm sorry if this was somewhat short because there's not much to talk about Springer. Also, I kind of want to get this video out quickly because I haven't really had time to work on anything lately. So I feel like if I don't give you guys a video soon, you guys are going to freak out and, you know, start disliking my videos or something like that. You, you guys know how I am. I'm pretty paranoid about that stuff. But for the next video, depending on how well this video does, I might make another missing character or I will talk about something completely different because I have an idea for a video, but I'm a bit um, unsure about it. It's... Pacific Rim related. I know how some of you guys feel about Uprising, believe me, I don't like it that much too, but I think the video is still gonna interest you. So, anyways guys, that's it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, guys. Also, remember to donate to our Patreon immediately.